Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. This video is about understanding sorting and time zone bucketing for record selections in Avaya Proactive Contact. When you create your record selection, you have an option of sorting the records and based on that, they get called out from the job. Apart from the sorting, the time zone buckets also come into play where you have more than one time zones that you are dialing into. In this video, we will see how the sort function and the time zone buckets work together. We will see how the ignore time zone setting in the selection and the order by time zone setting in the job work. And also, if you have a unit work list job, how the records are sorted and bucketed, etc. To start with, let's talk about the default sorting. So I am on the editor application and I have a selection open here and I am under the sort tab. If you don't specify anything in your sort tab of your record selection, the default method to sort the records is bottom to top. So the record appearing last in the calling list from the selected set of records is dialed out first and then the second to last and so on. Now let's see what happens when you specify a sort criteria here. You can specify calling list fields there, maybe like a balance field. and sort it in ascending or descending order. You can specify more than one fields here. Let me select city. So in this example, my first priority is balance and the second priority is the field city. So this means that the records will be sorted in descending order based on the balance field. And for those records which have the same balance, will be sorted according to the values in the city field in ascending order. So this was about how the sort would work. Now let's see how it works together with the ignore time zone setting. On the details tab of your selection, you would see this ignore time zone setting here with a checkbox to it. It's worth mentioning here that turning on or off the ignore time zone setting does not impact the dialer making calls to records outside of the legally permissible guard times. When this setting is checked, that is, you are ignoring the time zones, all the selected records are put into one single bucket. So basically, you are telling the system not to follow the order of the time zones. The records are simply put in one common bucket and sorted based on the sort field that you specified in the selection. If no sort is specified, the default order, that is bottom to top, is followed as we discussed. And again, you should not confuse this with the system calling the records out of the legally permissible guard times. The system will still dial the records only when the legal permissible guard times permitted to. Now let's see what happens when this setting is unchecked. This means that you are telling the system not to ignore the time zones. The selected records are separated into their respective time zone buckets. And within each bucket, the records are sorted based on the sort field that you specified in your selection. And if no sort is specified, again, it's bottom to top method, but within the bucket itself. Now that the records are grouped in respective time zone buckets, the job setting order calling records by time zone comes into picture. On the editor, you will see this setting on the job with a checkbox to it. If you check this checkbox, it means you are telling the system to follow the order of the time zones. So the system will see which time zone opens up first based on the legally permissible guard times and it will finish dialing out all the records from this time zone before moving on to the next time zone. And while calling, it would follow the sort within the bucket or if no sort is specified, it follows the default bottom to top order as discussed earlier. So it's possible with this order by time zone setting that based on your sort field, a record which should have been dialed later gets dialed out earlier than others just because it was falling in this time zone which opens up earlier than the others. Then when all the records of this time zone have been called out, it will move on to the next time zone whose guard times open up the next and so on. Now if you uncheck this checkbox for order by time zones in your job, the system follows a round robin method so it starts from the time zone which opens up the first and picks up one record from each time zone bucket in a round robin fashion. It will pick one record from A, then from B, then C and so on. 
and then back to A, then B and so on. And again if sort was specified, they will be sorted within the buckets and if no sort was specified, bottom to top within that bucket is followed. Now let's check what happens if it's a unit workless job. That is when the agents join the job, they select a particular unit and so they get the calls based on that unit or units they select. So for this in the record selection, you specify a field name from your calling list which acts as the unit and based on that, the records are grouped into different buckets. For example, on the screen I have a record selection open which has the unit field set to the field city from the calling list. So all the records are separated into groups based on the value in the city field of those records. So all the records of city X come together, all the records of city Y come together, etc. The picture on this slide shows a similar example where we have three units. You can take them as maybe city X, Y and Z. Now the sorting and time zone bucketing rules still apply but within these groups. So for example if we ignore time zone is yes, within unit 1 all selected records are sorted based on the sort field or the default bottom to top method. If ignore time zone is no, the job setting order calling by time zone comes into picture as we saw earlier. So basically it's no different than what we saw earlier. It's just that the records are first grouped by units, then grouped by time zones and then within the time zone buckets they are sorted. So we saw in a record selection how the records are grouped and sorted in different scenarios. With that we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.